Hernia refers to symptoms in which organs in the body are out of place and protrude or stick out through other tissues. There are two types of hernias, external and internal. Inguinal hernia accounts for 80% of external hernias. This can be caused by diverse factors, including chronic cough, strenuous exercise, muscular weakening, and obesity. Inguinal hernia is further subdivided into indirect inguinal hernia and direct inguinal hernia. The indirect inguinal hernia travels along the same path as the spermatic cord and comes to the inguinal canal starting from the deep inguinal ring. Indirect inguinal hernia occurs on the lateral side of the inferior epigastric vessel and enters the scrotum. Direct inguinal hernia comes behind the superficial inguinal ring by penetrating the abdominal wall. It occurs on the medial side of the inferior epigastric vessel. Sometimes, while watching without surgery, the intestine comes down into the hernial sac, and this can lead to the incarceration state which does not enter the abdominal cavity again. In severe cases, it progresses to a strangulation state which is a condition in which blood flow does not occur. In this case, if the intestine does not return to the abdominal cavity very quickly, intestinal necrosis occurs. Operation is performed after carrying out the intubation and general anesthesia. After anesthesia, an incision of about one centimeter is made in the umbilical region. Carbon dioxide is injected through a trocar, and the pressure of carbon dioxide is used to secure the extraperitoneal space. At this time, if the extraperitoneal space is narrow and difficult to approach, an intraabdominal approach is performed at the discretion of the operator. The endoscopy camera is injected into the extraperitoneal space through a trocar, and then two more holes are made to insert the laparoscopic instrument. The operator performs the operation while looking at the camera image projected on the monitor. By separating the hernia sac from the surrounding structures, it is restored into the abdominal cavity or the proximal region is cut and ligated. In the case of adults, the operation should be completed after reinforcing the surrounding muscles and abdominal wall using artificial fascia.